Hey, how y'all doing? It's Cook with Dave once again. Hi, I'm Dave. I am the world's greatest chef. It says so right here in my apron. And y'all know, my apron wouldn't lie to us. Anyway, today I am going to cook an omelet. I'm taking the omelet challenge. Better Homes and Gardens asked me to take the omelet challenge and use one of their uh, use one of their hard and nice non-stick pants. Better Homes and Gardens, bad to bone. Pretty cool. You can buy it at Walmart. It's bad to bone. Now stick. Also got me a heat resistant spatula. Got two of them. Better Homes Garden heat resistant spatula so you can do some stir fry and stuff and not have to worry about it. Also got a Better Homes Garden whisk. But that's pretty cool. It comes with a lifetime warranty. Has a nice handle. Handle feels good. It has kind of a soft grip. The handle's made out of stainless steel. The pan is hard and anodized and it is bad to bone. That's pretty cool. I like it. It feels good. It has a little texture down the bottom of it. It feels kind of cool. We will check them out. But you can't beat that. You get it at Walmart. It's pretty inexpensive. It's got a lifetime warranty, so it should last forever, right? But uh, we're going to put the omelet in it and check it out and see how it does. Alright, first thing I have to do is wash my pan. You should always wash everything you buy from the store. You don't know where it's been. You don't know whose hands have been on your pots and pans. So give them a good wash. I'm going to wash it and then we're going to cook ourselves an omelet. See how it does. All right. All right. The first thing we need to do is get together our ingredients. I'm going to use some ham, some cheese from Mom, and Tracy wants to have some bell pepper and a little onion in hers. So I'm going to slice a little bell pepper off of that. So I'm just going to slice the bell pepper in little pieces, like so. Same thing with the onion. Just a little bit of onion, kind of a whole lot of onion, just enough to give a little flavor, and some ham. And I'm going to use some four cheese masks. How can you go wrong? Alright. I'm going to take three eggs. One. A two. And a three. I'm using a 10 inch skillet. So I figure a three inch egg about right for a 10 inch skillet. I was on Better Homes and Gardens tweet chat last week. And a lot of people said that they would add... Just a tablespoon of water to that and give her eggs some fluff. Now, I've never done that, so I thought I would give it a try. Just a little dab it. Just about a tablespoon of water. I think they said per egg, but I'm just going to do a little bit to see what happens. Remember the important thing about cooking an egg, an omelet, or a scrambled egg is to make sure that you get that thing whipped up. You want it to be fluffy, then you've got to fluff it in the bowl. Once you think that everything's really, really mixed well, then you'll be ready to go. Now, while I say it's not necessary, I'm going to go ahead and hit that with some butter. We do recommend you some kind of vegetable spray. So I'm just going to use a little butter down there to make sure that we don't stick. Alright, like I said, I have the pan on medium. Um, butter is starting to melt, so I'm going to hit that with my egg, papaya, then I'm going to hit it with a little bit of ham. Remember, if you have a problem flipping your omelet, it falls apart on your breaks up, that's because you're using too much ingredients. Take some ingredients out and you'll see it do much better. Sprinkle that a little bit of cheese, just enough cheese to gonna melt for us. And let us know it had a little cheese in it. All right, people say, Dave, how do you know when to flip the omelet? Well, keep an eye on it, and you'll see whenever it starts bubbling, like cooking a pancake, you know? When it starts bubbling on the top, then you'll know, oh, time to flip my omelet. Now, you see how, this, how the edges are starting to get little bubbles going on? Just like in a pancake, there's bubbles going on. Once it starts bubbling, then I will know it is time to give it a flip. Don't want to flip it too soon because it needs to be firm. Get some firmness going on so that it will stay together. It's doing fine. It's not burning, cooking at low heat. It's fine. A hard and nice pan is going to be evenly heated throughout. Another great thing about the pan heats evenly, like cast iron, heats evenly and non stick. So people are having a hard time getting your cast iron to be non stick, get one of these. You won't have to worry about it no more. 
Alright, but now we have our bubbles. It's just a big bubble there. And we're just going to come underneath it and then give it a flip. Fire! Ooh, I might have flipped it too soon. I don't know. It should be alright. We'll, we'll keep it together. So it continue to cook. And then we will give it one more flip. And once things come together, scratch it underneath it and just give it a flip. Oh, that's going to be good. And check your egg. Make sure you think, oh, my omelet feels pretty firm. You want to make sure the egg inside gets cooked, too. It's important to cook your egg fully done. Y'all know the deal. Raw egg. And you will never have it twice. I'm telling you right now. You can eat yourself one raw egg. And you will never, ever eat a raw egg again. Because, man, that's terrible. Terrible. I'm telling you, it's bad. Pain. Good enough flip. Let's get on this side. Let's go on this side. Nice. Cook. Firm. See if it feels all firm. Nice. Throw that on the plate. And that's what we call Dave's breakfast. Alright, let's do one more. So, we'll take a paper towel. We'll take a paper towel and wipe that out. And it's ready to go for our next egg. Put a little butter. Got a little more heat this time, so it'll probably cook a little faster. Last time I just put the pan on the stove. I probably should have let it get a little hot. But the omelet still turned out nice. Alright, so we're going to hit that with just a little bit of ham. Just kind of throughout there. Then we're going to add a little bit of bell pepper. Bell pepper. A little more bell pepper. And a little onion. A little onion. Some onion. A little more onion. Not too much, just a little bit, a little flavor going on there. Alright, and then I'm going to hit it with our cheese, a little bit of cheese. And then not too much, just enough. Make it taste like we got a little cheese in it. Alright, I'm shaking my edges. See my edges starting to get firm around the edge. See the whole thing moving, so I know that it's getting pretty firm underneath there. So I can get underneath it. And give it a flip. Nice. Let it cook. Let it sit there. Let it cook. Let it firm up a little bit more. Alright, once it's firmed up a little more, then I can go ahead and get ready to give it a flip. Bam! Oops. I should have waited a little bit longer, but it'll be alright. We come together. And like I said, if your egg's breaking up, that's because you're using too many ingredients. You know, there ain't nothing wrong with a broken egg sometimes. You know, if you like too many ingredients, put them in there. It's going to be good. Y'all know what do. But I'd say a hard and nice pan is holding up well. I like it. It's non-stick. It's heavy. feels good. It feels like it's not going to scratch up on me and end up in my food someplace like most non-stick pans. It looks like it's going to hold up a long time. All right, egg is firming up. feels firm. Let's give it one more flip. Looks good on this side. A little golden brown action. Can't beat that. The last thing I do to my omelet is to hit it with a little pepper. A little pepper. A little pepper over there. And some salt. A little bit of salt. Salt. A little salt. And we're ready to go. Voila. I'm at our day. All right, let's give this a taste and see what we think about adding a little water and such. Mmm. Oh my good. Fluffy, nice. Cooked throughout. No raw egg in there. Everything's cooked. I think Pan did a good job. <laughs> Go out and check out the Better Homes and Gardens. It's pretty cool. I use a couple of recipes. I use um. My strawberry barbecue sauce came from the Better Homes and Garden magazine. And I think also my strawberry pie. They did a whole article last year, maybe year before, about strawberries. And I thought it was pretty cool. So I went ahead and um, used a couple of their recipes. And they were good. I'll tell you right now. They were good. All right. Y'all do the omelet challenge. Cook yourself an omelet. Let me know what you think. Y'all have a great day.